Hey guys, Chug is Capri Sun here. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. Sorry it's been so long since I uploaded. Uh, had some crazy stuff going on. Um, but anyways, now that I am back, we... Did we finish off the engine room last time? I think I'm way behind. Um... No, last time we did the red star thing, right? Yeah, we did. So, uh, yeah, you can tell it's been a while. Anyways, what I'm probably going to do first is go into the garden dome. And maybe work up some star bits to feed that guy. Because I really don't have anything. And, oh, that was a weird way to jump in. If you guys can tell, I did get a new mic for my birthday, which was almost a month ago. Um, but, yeah, anyways, we are going to start Deep Dark Galaxy. It's, um, not that dark, actually. Um, but it does get somewhat deep. Somewhat, actually. Not a whole lot. Uh, as you can see, there is a little, little ship there. And, uh, there's also... The cage that's in the way, so we have to end up... Remove that cage somehow. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I'm gonna die off of a crab. Um. Alright, there we go. Uh. I guess I'll get one up from that guy right there. If I don't die. Sorry, you have to listen to that annoying sound. But it's. It's not much I can do about it right now. So forget coin. Uh, that treasure chest down there does have, um, uh, one up in it. So you'll notice that little planet over there with enemies, and then you'll also notice this one in the corner, which is kind of hidden. Um, well, this planet basically has, well, you'll see in a second. If you crouch... You can actually walk into this house. Um, there you go. And if you go into first person view, you can see the rafters. And if you look down, uh, you'll see an upside down Goomba and a whole ton of coins. Uh, which happen to be inside the planet. Uh, you can actually walk out of any part of the house if you want to leave it. So. You don't have to worry about getting stuck. But if you take up the screw, the planet starts shrinking. And you'll see a whole... The coins actually start coming... Out of the planet. Sorry if this commentary is so bad. I haven't done one in so long. I feel very rusty. Probably worse than rusty. Ah, oh, I guess I won't get those last two coins. Now, I'm actually going to get down real quick and get a rainbow star so I can just don't have to worry about them slowing me down. Although I think that was probably or what I'm doing now is probably going to take longer. And I think I got it. Alright. And as you can see there is a fire flower on the bottom of this. This isn't really a planet, is it? I don't know what you'd call this. Actually, if you run into the fire flower, it just flies off. And, um... Yeah, so now that we have the fire flower, if you go back down onto the... Um... I guess mainland? You see two torches, then... That's pretty obvious from there. Um, 
Oh yeah, I also tried... Er... Well, I'm trying right now to see if there's a, any of a... If there's a big quality difference um, between the files that I'm recording in. Right now I'm recording in this uh, different file than what I usually do. I'm not sure whether it's going to be any better or if it's going to be a whole lot worse. I hope... Or I'm hoping that's a lot better. Uh, excuse that sound. My capture card does that sometimes, I don't know why. I used to do it all the time back when I was recording in the Avi file. Which is like a really long time ago. But... I don't do that, or I don't record in that file anymore. Now I record in a DVD file, but I'm not recording in that file right now. Still. If it's any worse, I'll probably switch it up. Or switch back. That might be a few videos. And, uh, so here we are at the ship. And you can see a boo in these lights. All you have to do is drag them in. And... You'll also notice down there is a, I guess, a question mark coin. You get it, a whole ton of star bits appear. And I'm probably not going to bother getting them all. But who knows. I do need star bits for um, the Hungry Lumas. I think they need like 1,200. It's either 1,000 or 1,200. So, they need a lot. Oh, I think I just shot one. Whoa, that was a little weird. And, uh, anyways, here is... Whatever she is. I think it's Kamek. I really don't know. Feel, feels kind of weird not knowing that. Uh, so what you have to do is catch the shells that she throws and throw them at her. It's pretty easy. Uh, there is a daredevil comment on this which is nowhere near as easy. Well, it's not like super, oh wow. It's not like super hard, but it's not easy. I don't even know if that makes sense. I guess I just have to hope that it does. Uh, once you hit her twice, she will fly up there, and you have to go fight her on a smaller platform, where she will also spawn Magic Koopas, who shoot fire. But they do have a coin, but they only spawn coins once, and that's the first time you kill them. So, it can, in a way, it might be smart to save the Magic Koopas, but to be honest, it just clutters the whole field. Oh, well. Oh, I didn't even know I threw it. And now we got our star. Wait, no. Which star number is that? Um, 86? Maybe? I think I'm wrong. I hate it when I'm wrong on stuff like this, because I personally feel like I should know this stuff. It has been a month, I think. Oh, 84. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I might also try and make my videos a little shorter, like maybe 15 minutes instead of like 20, um, because I noticed that even in a 20 minute video, I usually don't make a whole lot of progress, at least that's my opinion. And anyways, this mission starts you off with uh, that guy, who 
happens to be taking up the whole cannon. And what you have to do is go and hit the coconuts on them. It's not that hard. If he shoots you, it just, like, um... I don't know, they're bubbles. They don't hurt you. They, like, push you away. I feel like I've had this weird voice all day. I don't know why. I'm probably tired. This is kind of weird. Normally I don't get tired. Well, actually normally I do, but... I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. It's weird. And so now, this is open, and you will actually have to go back up there and shoot the thing. Um, if you saw the other planet is still there, not really a lot here. I'm not gonna go there now because I already showed you. I think that's kind of obvious because I'm already on this planet killing all these guys. Of course, I only miss one. Eh. I can probably burn him. I don't really care. He won't do a whole lot. And so now, as you can see, there are three torches, and what they do is if you hit them all, an ice flower will appear, and if you collect it, obviously, you will float on top of the water and stuff. I don't think you really need the ice flower. I think you could just swim over to here and, like, ball jump up. I'm not sure. If I fall and lose my ice flower, I'm probably gonna try that. And I think you can actually long jump across there or something. I don't know. I'll try it. Oh, no. I guess. Well, maybe you can. I don't know. Um, anyways. Yeah, you can get up by doing that. Alright, so... Really, the only thing you need the Fire Flower for is just... Unlocking, um... Or opening up the area. Because you can't do that any other way. And... Now... If you collect this, that whole platform turns into... The launch stars. You can either wall jump up here, or you can take the flood. The blue flood, yeah. I don't know what that's actually meant to be called. If that's like a bubble blaster, or... Just flood. Like bubble flood or something. And, um, yeah, said that kind of weird. <laughs> and now we are on a planet with floating, um, cheap cheeps. Almost forgot their name. I guess they can still hurt you, actually, if they're not in the water. I didn't know that. Oh, well. Uh, what you have to do is ground pound all three of these dumps and activate the flood. And now this will take you to this planet with these tennis balls rolling around and a watermelon in the center. Oh, I didn't even notice him back there. Yeah, there's a... Okay, so there's a, apparently a power star in this watermelon. I wish I collected that coin before I got hit. 
Uh, what you have to do is ground pound the tennis balls into the watermelon, and the watermelon will grow. Oh, it's a weird thing. Especially since I think the watermelon, or the tennis balls were bigger than the... Oh! Oh, no! Okay, so just one more tennis ball again, and... Right, there we go, that's what's meant to happen. It gets so big it breaks everything, and... Well, I still got hit, but I at least didn't die. Alright, so thank you guys for watching, and... I... I think... <laughs> Man, that was such a bad ending. Uh, just... Um... Yeah, I'll come back with Wind Waker tomorrow. Yeah. I hope. Bye.